In this video, we're going to be talking about Warrior Trading and their leader, Ross Cameron. It's a video that we've basically gone through the internet just looking for everything. A few things triggered my mind a little bit uh, on the internet of late, so we're going to be discussing that and, and the research I went behind to give my own focus and hopefully it helps you out uh, when making your decision on picking who you should uh, learn to day trade from. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you have any comments that you want to drop below with reference to a certain part of the video, just drop them below in the link with a time to the video so that we know we can enter because there is quite a few different links we're going to go through. And that's it. I'll see you in the video. Take care. So, Ross Cameron, Warrior Trading. Who is he? Cool name, Warrior Trading. Um, well, War Ross Cameron is a trader uh, as of... January 2000. This is according to his YouTube channel. According to two, uh, January 2017, he turned $600, uh, sorry, less than $600, into $725,000 by the 5th of October 2018. So that's monumental. I mean, that is Warren Buffett, you know, couldn't clean this guy's shoes in terms of returns. Uh, that is phenomenal. That's all according to his YouTube. Um, but yeah, it does raise a few red herons. So you know, his style, he, he, he's basically a long biased momentum trader uh, who tends to ride waves on, on, on volume that's coming in and then tends to get quick in entries and exits. Some of his entries and exits on YouTube seem to be, you know, six, seven, even eight seconds. Uh, and that's not, you know, uncommon. He's genuinely in these trades for a couple of seconds. He's in, he's out. Um, I'm pretty sure his broker is going to be light speed because they're, they're one of the fastest uh, brokers out there. So... Again, I don't know that. If you do know that, drop a comment below just to confirm. Um, but yeah, his entries and exits are phenomenal. He tends to ride the wave up, get out, and that's it. So for his style, I mean, hot key entries are, you know, a must. So if you are a new trader and you don't know what hot keys are, um, find out what they are. Because without hot keys, to be honest, you're not going to suit his trading style. Um, you, you've got no chance. Uh, seems like a pretty nice guy. He's got this easy go, uh, lucky attitude. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into it. So you're probably wondering why uh, I'm just on Google and typed in Warrior Trading. Uh, I've just been to the website, I went to the terms and conditions, as a few people have mentioned on Twitter, check that out. And you know, it's it's quite worrying to me that as soon as you go on the website, the terms and conditions says, to summarize, not word for word, if you don't agree with these terms and conditions or provisions uh, to these terms and conditions, you have to exit the site immediately. Continuous usage is basically giving consent. So that you agree to the terms and conditions. Now, again, there's a few people that I've seen uh, from the Trick Trades podcast, for example, that he's very big on cease and desists for anyone who says anything bad about him. So I just wanted to highlight that right here in the video. I exit the site immediately, so I didn't agree with the terms and conditions. Uh, Ross, sorry. And it's just quite simple that having that in there, it, it does raise a few red flags to me. So like I said, um, there is quite a few little bad reviews I've seen on YouTube. Um, on YouTube everywhere if you type in Warrior Trading. In fact, let's do it. So if you type in Warrior Trading Review, hopefully our video will be ranking there soon. Um, you know, there'll be, you know, I've checked all of these out and, and quite frankly, they're all very positive, which is a good thing uh, for us. So I'm quite happy. Uh, just quick tea break. So yeah, so there's a lot of um, good reviews on YouTube, but very little bad. And that sort of worries me a little bit because I think every service in, on planet Earth um, has, has good and bad reviews, and I think that's something that worries me again. So the fact that there is no real bad review sort of you know worried me a bit. But let, let's come back to, to what started this whole video, to be honest. So if you don't know who Guru Leaks are, Guru Leaks, we've done a few videos on Will Caraman before. Um, I, again, I don't agree with more than 50% of what Guru Leaks posts. Um, quite a lot of them are over the top, in my opinion. Um, but Foxy bullshit artist Ross Cameron, day trade warrior, claims he's making 2,600 every day while broker sure traders uh, has stated that nearly all of his clients fail. Now, I just want to nip that in the bud. Sure traders are a shit broker. Um, just Google sure trader, Guy Gentile. There's loads of actions going against sure traders, so just be careful. So there's loads of actions going against sure trader. Um, but this is this is basically what happened um you know ross posted this this tweet and uh this is the quote now I, again i don't want to say that it's from true trader it's just a cut and paste i did ask guru leaks to send me the link to this 
they completely fucking ignored me. Um, the fact is nearly all the clients referred to SureTrader from Ross Cameron's Warrior Trading Services lost money uh, trading at SureTrader. Even if the commission fees were zero, they still have a net loss. Why? So we're going to come into this because I think there's been a bit of a falling out between Ross and, uh, well, not just Ross, Warrior Trading and SureTrader because at one point, um, Warrior Trading were recommending SureTrader. And you can go back on, on you know, the, you know Google or, or YouTube. I don't know if the videos are still there, but for sure Ross was re recommending. Uh, and there was, I think, a an affiliate link for SureTrader. But something's happened there. It might be they wanted to cut the tie with uh, with Guy Gentile after the recent scam for SureTrader. Who knows? Um, but definitely not good good press. On that, I'm just going to come off Twitter and just jump straight into the... This, this article, which I'll come to later, which is from SureTrader's website, uh, and we'll be covering this, and all the links for all these tweets and everything will be below, okay? So, hold your horses. GuruLeaks has another tweet um, a couple of days later on Ross Cameron. 500,000 plus members, I don't know if that's true, by the way, I've only ever seen 5,000 in his chat room. Uh, but why does he use fictional testimonies in his ads? Um, you know, this is, I believe, from Warrior Trader's website, the largest community of traders, over 500,000 as you read this growing every day. Uh, just like you learning and trading profitly most. But this bit is worrying. The following advertisement contains fictional testimonials by paid actors and not actual customers testimonials. I don't know where this advert's from. So if anyone knows where this advert's from, please drop me a link below because I'm really curious. Uh, as far as I'm aware, Guru League still did not post the link to it so again I, I don't know but it is concerning because Guru Leaks has been right a few times in the past final one on Twitter which is a bit negative again is you know 10 trick trades their podcast is a bit ranty to be honest on all gold gurus furus teachers whatever um, but I do sort of like uh, the guy to be honest 10 second chart adding in halts adding in the losers on a low float Ross 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 what the hell are you teaching people this is getting fucking stupid at this point. I'm disgusted. Now, I just want to be clear. Warrior Trader's made a lot of enemies for some reason in this. And I think it is the fact that he's training people to scalp trades um, without giving them the tools. I mean, if you're recommending Sure Trader, you can't really scalp, in my opinion. They're just not good enough broker. You need light speed. You need hotkeys and stuff like that. Which, I, I, I again, I haven't done the course. I'm pretty sure Ross says that in the course. So if you go to Warrior Trades page, there's a lot of news articles. Probably worth a follow to keep you up to date with the uh, the current marketplace. And again, there is a lot of uh, new students on Twitter who are saying, thanks very much for my win, or thanks very much for teaching me, or, you know, I lost in this trade, Ross, but you nailed it, well done. Um, so definitely, um, there is a, a lot more good stuff on Twitter about Warrior Trade than there is bad, in my opinion. Tea break. So that brings us on to the Sure Trader article, which is another big thing that kicked it off. I've seen this shared. I think it was Guru Leaks again who shared it. Um, Warrior Trading Review, the good, the bad, the ugly. It's on Sure Trader's website, which, in my opinion, just shows how a disastrous broker they are. Um, anyway, let's just get into the article. The article is going to be below, so feel free to to read that at your own leisure. Um, but quite simple: the pros and the cons. Um, pros, undeniably great marketing strategy, you know, placement, blah, blah, blah. But this is where it gets a little bit interesting because this I do sort of agree with. I mean, if you've got a disclaimer on your website that says you have to leave straight away, then there's no real proof for new members to come in. You've got to sort of jump off the diving board and hope that there's water there, um, which is probably a good example, to be honest. And in my opinion, he should at least try and use Profitly or use a different third-party website to verify his trades just to get a bit more legitimacy. But it seems to be working anyway, so if he's happy with that, then fit, you know, more power to him. But the cons, uh, like I said, there's no audited uh, record of their trading success. Um, just just read it. it, it it's quite simple. There's no audited proof that account is held by Ross Cameron uh, and, and a lot of stuff like that. So that does make it seem a little bit more sketchy, but the fact that it's coming from a bro... If it was coming from Lightspeed, I'd be worried. If it's coming from Sure Trader, pinch of salt over the shoulder, to be honest. But it's still one of the few, very few negative things about Warrior Trading, and it just shows that they have had a bit of a spat somewhere. So that'd be, you know, hopefully we find some more information on that if you're into soap dramas. So again, I just then went to Google and I just typed in Warrior Trading Review and I've 
been trying to get a few good and negatives. Um, this is one of the best ones I've found, but it's quite worrying as well. Um, this is from foxytrades.com. Um, there's a lot of reviews from a lot of different people, but let's get into it. Let's just, just take it as a good article at the moment. So this is where I said that, you know, we're going to have the prices are here. So I didn't, just, again, I didn't agree to worry trading's uh, disclaimer, but here's the prices. Again, it, this is as of the date this was published, which was 2018, March 16th. Um, the prices were, the most popular one was $75 a month um, for an annual membership. I believe you have to pay that annually from what I can see. Um, but that's quite hefty. I mean, if he's got 5,000 members all on the cheapest plan, um, let's just do some maths. I mean, it, it, in, if you do the maths, I mean, 5,000 members, even if they're all on the cheapest plan without buying a course, I mean, Warrior Trading's raking it in. That's $375,000 uh, per month. So yeah, it's a decent payday. Well done. They offer a trading simulator. They offer different courses. Um, some of them are application only. Um, there's an inner circle trading. I've seen this on YouTube somewhere. Um, where they just have a group of traders one on one, well not one on one, but in a seminar style setting. Um, so is it a scam or is it legit? Uh, where where to learn trading basically? Basically, if I were you, I wouldn't just take my word for it. Uh, yes, I believe he's one of the few mentors that work. Blah 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 blah. Now this is quite a good review. The link's going to be below. Just before doing this video, this was going to be my positive um, part, and I, I don't I do want to put positives and negatives for every person we try and review. But the review summary here, where it's just one star, has got me, got me a bit worried, to be honest. So I ended a bit of research on who Paul Cougar is. And it wasn't that hard, to be honest, because you just click his name, and then you can see all his reviews. Now this guy claims to be a day trader, and he has reviewed, let's, I mean, let's see the reviews, right? Jason Bond picks, we'll come to. Tim Sykes, we'll come to. Markets.com, we'll come to. Warrior Trading, we've just seen. Stocks to Trade, I'm sure you know that one. You can click that one yourself. Let's see if he's reviewed anyone. Superman. Tim Sykes again. Sure Trader. Tim Grittani. Now I'm not going to read this because you can click the, the link yourself, I've just been the bottom, but all I want to say is would I recommend his service? If you're serious about making money in the stock markets, yes. Tim Sykes. Conclusions. All in all, I like his, like his trading style. He's super interesting and helps develop an edge in other markets. He's one of the few trading educators, mentors I dare to recommend. Yet he seems to be recommending every fucking one. Markets.com. I'll come to. Superman Trades. As shown in my Superman review, Paul is the real deal. Tim Grittani. And this is again not against any of these individually. Fairy tales do come true in the trading world. They're all good fucking reviews. Strange. Very fucking strange. So what I want to know is if this guy's going through everyone, he's just reviewing everyone. Is he paid? There's been rumors of it. There's been rumors of it. Not this guy, but there's been rumors of Warrior Trade and Tim Sykes, all these guys using paid reviews. Nothing against it, it's business at the end of the day. But just want you to be aware of that. Now sure trader, I haven't read this yet. I'm doing this as we speak. We all know sure traders are shitty broker and they fell out with already trading. I think we all know the outcome. Um, sure trade is ideal for traders who have smaller accounts to trade on a frequent basis. Um, that's probably the worst review he's done, uh, to be honest. Markets.com. Now the reason I left markets.com here is markets.com are literally the worst broker I have ever used. Um, Let's see what he says. Considering the many features and pros and cons of markets, it seems a very solid and reliable broker. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about Paul Kruger. And just to be clear, you can go to the bottom of all these articles. This is, again, Jason Bond. You can see it is the same guy giving the review. Um, 
which is a little bit sketchy in my opinion. So, more Google articles. Um, again, I've been scouring the internet trying to find some negative articles because there isn't that many, to be honest. There's a lot more positive articles on the internet. This is just, quite frankly, save you time. So I came across this one on Quora, um, which is from a guy called Anonymous. So again, pinch of salt. I really hate that. If you're gonna give a review, show your fucking name, don't be a pussy. Um, I'm convinced he, uh, that this guy doesn't trade. He's a scammer. He pays people to leave fake reviews. Um, and blah, 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 blah. If you ask him to show his legitimate financial statements, um, he doesn't, basically. Um, again, the link for this is below, but read this, Warrior Trading School. So we're just gonna jump straight to this article that they posted. So we're just gonna jump straight over to this article. Now, the article for this is also gonna be in the description below, um, but I just wanted to point this out, and this is actually a bit of defense to Warrior Trading, to be honest. Um, it's a guy who seems to have took the course, uh, so he joined up to the chat room and stuff like that, but it's also a guy who seems to be looking to follow trades, which is a big no-no, and I'm sure Ross definitely advocates against following his trades. The following video is an example of a trade uh, took in the trading program. I have videos of both winning and losing trades, but in this video in particular, it was a big winner for Ross. The stock broke to new highs, uh, and Ross gave, you know, basically loads of warning. The, the, the thing basically, I'll, I'll summarize, when reading this, what happened was is Ross made a winner. He said, look, I'm, I, yeah, I'm in, I'm half out, I'm totally out, which seems to be fine to traders. But apart from not showing how much size he took it with, did he take 10%, 20%? That's what this kid's issue is. But then when he was in a losing trade, he wouldn't say he's half out or what he's thinking. He'd just shout, okay, I'm out. So he'd have a lot of people in his uh, chat room who do follow him. And I mean... Let's be honest, you know, everyone who has a chat room, you're going to have people following trades. It's going to happen. Um, but the thing is, is you've got to, as a, as a, in, in my opinion, as a moderator, you've got to at least have that saying, if this level breaks, I'm out. If this happens, I'm out. If this happens, I'm out. Be careful, guys, because you need to get out. Be careful, I'm out. That's it. And if you just say, okay, I'm out, calm, there's still people bag holding from your chat room who took that trade initially because you liked it. That's what this guy's issue is. And again, just to reiterate, never fucking follow trades. Number one, never follow it. So as I, as I said, I want to leave with a good positive review. Um, you know, this is on daytradingreview.com. Uh, it's a review of Warrior Trading. The link will be below also about the courses he offers, the live trading simulator, and the pros and cons. Again, um, don't have too much more information. There's no, um, but yeah, the link for that's below and it is quite a positive review, um, so feel free to check that out. So I said I wanna leave with a positive uh, comment to Warrior Trading. Uh, after everything that's happened in the video, it hurts me to do so, to be honest, because I think my mind's been made up. Um, but day trading review, Warrior Trading, uh, is a good service for value. There's a ton of good free blogs and podcasts, uh, blah, blah, you know, basically saying that. Transparent live day trades alerts, Transparency is a bit of a que transparency is a bit of a question because we've talked about that earlier. Always watching in play stocks with momentum, as mentioned, he has to because it's his style. Um, friendly, engaging, interactive moderators. Again, don't know that because I've not been in the chat room. Cons: expensive bundle training packages, lack of historically daily performance. The fact that there's no historical data is, is a bit of an issue for me. Uh, it needs to go to a third party. Uh, just to get, make it a bit more believable, just the fact that you have to agree to their terms before you know getting anything, I think there should be at least some proof there because you're sort of, you, you are taking a leap of faith there. Um, then it leads to some Twitter buffs. Warrior Trading School is awesome. Ross and the team are amazing. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff on Twitter. Another day learning with Warrior. Um, I learned a ton from Day Trading Warrior. He's an incredible educator. So that's the positive uh, things. So the verdict here is quite simple. There's always some strange stuff going on with all these gurus uh, and chat room educators uh, in especially the low cap world. Um, but this guy, you know, there's very little negative stuff about him on the internet, which is, is, to me being quite a skeptical person is a bit of an issue. So that's why I've put this together for you people so that you can find it all in one place. Um, this review is quite simply not disputed to be positive or negative. I want that to be left to yourselves, do your own research, but please do drop a comment below with your own thoughts, experiences, whether they're good, bad, or indifferent, or any questions you might have that we can help. But more importantly, just drop a comment below with your thoughts because people do read them, and your experiences will help someone from either joining or staying away. So comment below, you know. So just comment below, good teacher, bad teacher, 
uh, in reference to warrior trading and everything else uh, I will respond to in time. Thanks for watching, hopefully it will help you. Don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.